Today I'm showing you how to convert a Panel Builder 32 application to Factory Talk View. Open up Factory Talk View ME and create a new application. Give it a name. Choose the size of the new Panel View Plus that you're using and click Import. Uh, we're not using direct driver notes, so we just say OK. All right, choose the PVA or PVA and hit Next, and then Browse for your file. This is what we uploaded out of the panel view. And Finish. And this process usually takes between two and five minutes. I sped it up. Once that's done, this is the window. Well, it, it's, it'll show you where the convert log is that shows you any errors that might be in here. Those are all just warnings. Um, if you do have errors, you want to go back and fix them. That's where the file is. All right, we got it converted. So now you want to go into the communication setup. And we want to set up the PLC shortcut, which is the path. <clears throat> Create a new configuration here. This is the path that tells the panel view how to talk to the PLC, where, where to talk to the PLC. So we're going to add a shortcut here, but we need to make sure this name matches what's in the tags. So go to HMI tags and open the tag file up. And these tags, all this is where the path is here. Everything inside those square brackets is what we need to name the PLC shortcut. Make it match. So we're going to name ours batch making two with the underscore. Just click slowly twice, that'll let you edit that patch making two. And then we want to uh, definitely use Ethernet, Ethernet, don't use these other two. Right click, add device. And we're going to set it up for SLIC 505. Give it the IP. Say OK. Make sure you, the correct PLC is highlighted, and then click Apply. If you don't get this confirmation window, then it didn't work. Um, hit yes on here. And uh, the next last step is to hit copy from design to runtime, which make sure that again with the confirmation window, hit yes. I usually like to hit verify to make sure it actually did get assigned. And yes, it does look like it, it is assigned, the shortcut is assigned. So we close and then hit OK to save this communication shortcut. You know, you can take a look at the screens and see how it all looks. You can edit whatever you want, but this is basically done. You can just create the runtime application and download it to your panel view now. That's it.